Hello, my friends. Welcome to a Feel Good Friday session where you get tips on how to optimize your energy and attention. So recently, I gathered some friends to move and to play in a park. Now, this is where the fun begins. An instantaneous creative collaboration happened between four friends, one drone pilot, and one artistic director. After two hours of capturing the essence of movement through yoga poses, through acro yoga poses, we all felt inspired and recharged. Do you know what I mean? Have you felt that before? And so this collaboration has deepened our connections through work and play. So magical, right? And I really, really love this type of connection. I feed on them. So I have some amazing footages that I will be sharing with you. It's only 30 seconds, and let's go. Quick shout out to Bob and Jewel for your collaborative efforts, for your attention to detail and all your creative prompts. And thank you, thank you to my friends Lillian, Jason and Scott for your time, trust and dedication to this practice. Now back to you my friends, what did you see in this footage? Is it movement play? Is it exercise? Is it both? You see, exercise is often planned and structured. So there's a large emphasis on exercise when we talk about healthy living, fitness lifestyle and weight loss or fat loss. While exercise comes in many shapes and forms, each has their own benefits, they are usually planned and structured. And movement, what is movement? I would say it's often unplanned and unstructured. And that way, movement is often overlooked and pushed aside because we have been told that exercise is more important. Why do you think doing movement is less important than exercise? Maybe you think that, maybe you don't, but why in general people put more emphasis on exercise and less so on movement? You see, movement can be unplanned and unstructured, right? It, it, it just happens, like uh, playing with your pets, or playing with your kids, or just dancing to your favorite song. That, that's movement. It's unplanned, unstructured, and movement is easily available to every single one of us, like taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Wow, I think you hear what I hear. It's a thunderstorm coming. <laughs> and back to movement, it is convenient and it is free. For example, when you park your car further and then take a walk to your favorite cafe, bar, pub, restaurant, for example. So in this video, I really want to draw your attention to develop a healthy attitude towards movement. And it will take time because it comes down to consistency. So let's learn to use every opportunity available to move our body. Not only that, but also learn to develop an appreciation for what the body can do. So exercise is important and has its place and time for sure. But I just want to wave the flag for moving more and for loving your body and for not putting so much pressure on yourself. All right, my friends, if you want to see more of these contents, drop me an email. Keep making small changes and be consistent because that's what will create big magic. My goal is to encourage you, empower you, and to celebrate you. Thank you for watching today's Feel Good Friday session. Till next Friday, let's make every little movement count. Even this time or this time when you're walking. I don't know, whatever movement you do, enjoy it and make it count. High five.